Hello and welcome to PLCCable.com. In this video we are going to be showing you our new PLC PID trainer. We are controlling this with our Micrologix 1100 analog trainer. We have also added another analog card. You can use your own PLC or we can supply one for you. Any brand of PLC will work. We are using 24 volt DC, 4 to 20 milliamp, and 0 to 10 volt DC for the controls on the one seen in the video. The PID trainer does not include the PLC shown in the video. It needs to be purchased separately. The scope of the trainer is to float the ball or levitate the ball at a given height using a PID loop in the PLC. Once the level is achieved, you will introduce a couple of variables. First, is opening the manual damper on the top of the trainer. This will allow air to flow more freely out of the top of the tube. The second variable is the damper on the bottom of the tube. This will also allow more air to flow into the tube. The bottom damper is controlled via the open and close switch buttons or also wired up to the PLC. The purpose of the variables are to have a PID loop that will keep the ball at a given height and react fast enough to hold the ball at that height, but slow enough to keep it there and not overshoot in either direction. This logic can be applied to several different applications and also training, such as water tanks, levels, heating and cooling systems for temperature, and many other PID processes. The trainer includes one fan assembly that pushes the ball to the top of the tube depending upon the speed of the fan. Push, it just pushes by air. And it's not showing but it's in the bottom of the, in the enclosure on the bottom. Also includes a 4 to 20 proximity switch on the top and this gives the PLC a feedback of the actual position of the ball. Another 4 to 20 meter that shows the signal coming from the PLC to the fan controller, so the output of the PLC. Another 4 to 20 meter going to the to the PLC and that is the position of the ball. So you can see the position of the ball through the proximity switch and it also will be shown on the meter itself. There's a manual potentiometer and that's to set your fan speed control. This is also controlled with the PLC but you first do your initial setting of the fan control just manually and then you can take over with the PLC. There's a damper at the bottom of the tube and that's an electronic damper and it's controlled either by the PLC or by the two push buttons. And that's it. And that's our new PID trainer. Any questions, send us an email to sales at plccable.com. Thank you and have a nice day.